Senator Vogel and Senator Rube that helped to get this through the uh, Missouri State Senate, uh, Representatives Moore and Onder uh, that uh, were very supportive of this uh, effort and certainly appreciate the bill sponsor, Bob Onder, being with us today. Thank you all very much. Governor, I have a question yeah. about the upcoming sure. primary. Have you endorsed I people like Bob Onder or making any no, commitments? I've got lots of, lots of good friends in that primary and uh, certainly I wish them all wish them all well. Um, and, uh, they're all great public servants. I'm sure that uh, whoever doesn't go on to serve in the United States Congress will, will find other ways to serve to serve our citizens. So lots of good people in the primary. I've not made an, an endorsement. Governor, what is your reaction to uh, Sarah Steelman calling for uh, the uh, repeal of the ethanol mandate that you've championed for quite a while? Yeah, I think it's been very successful and it's um, you know, plant-based renewable fuels are in the best interest of the American economy, uh, certainly, and in Missouri's economy in particular. There are communities in North Missouri and in other parts of our state that have been totally rejuvenated uh, because of uh, ethanol and uh, plant-based renewable fuels are a big part of uh, the solution. They've all too often really become a scapegoat for rising food, food prices. And I don't think any of the data uh, bears that out. If you look at uh, other cro crops, rice for example, uh, over the past year, there's been a significant increase in the cost of rice. I think it's about 160% over the past one year time period. Uh, virtually no rice goes into fuel anywhere in the world. It's not a plant, a crop either, that can be easily supplanted like soybeans or wheat arguably could be. So if you really look at the problem, the problem of rising food prices is caused by uh, global demand, rapidly increasing global demand for that food, and rising energy costs. That's the primary input. And farmers that are paying higher prices for natural gas and for um, diesel fuel and other types of energy are obviously having to pass that along. And that's really what's driving food costs. Higher energy costs and rising global demand. Not plant-based renewable fuels. Mm -hmm. You look, for example, at ethanol. About the same percentage of our corn crop goes into ethanol today as did just a few years ago. So we can meet some of our energy needs with plant-based renewable fuels, and it creates all sorts of economic development in the state of Missouri. So obviously I'm opposed to that particular position. All right, thank you all.